Today, I'm gonna show you how to replace the rechargeable battery for Dyson V8. So, to replace the battery, it's pretty simple. All what you need is a, a Phillips a screwdriver. So, uh, the first one, uh, you, the first screw is uh, this one right here. We're going to take the screw off. There are two additional screws, one here and one here. As soon as you take so as soon as you take those two screws off you can see the battery comes out on its own pretty much right there so this is the other screw still here I'll just take the screw and then so this is the battery that I left with So I haven't opened this one yet. Like I said, I just received it. Piece of styrofoam. Came with a filter. So this filter can be replaced with this one. I don't think I'm going to do that because uh, I have been cleaning this filter regularly uh, per the instruction manual. It's good to have a spare though. It's, uh, instruction in English and Chinese and then the battery. So it's good to compare both of them side by side. As you can see, the most important part obviously in addition to everything else is the input for the charger. This battery that I ordered is uh, 4500 milliamp rich right here. So this should last a little longer versus uh, the, there are a few options at Amazon that are less than 4500. I don't remember exactly what they were, but you could uh, check them out. This is made in China. It had good reviews in Amazon, so hopefully it works well. Uh, I will uh, basically share the link and do your research before you buy it. The voltage seems to be the same as well. Uh, 21.6 volt, 21.6 volt. So, for all intents and purposes, the two batteries look identical pretty much in every way, except obviously the color is not exactly the same. This one is a little bit more gray color than this one has more kind of beige to it. The, the lights charging light seems to be the same the ports the connection ports seems to be the same and uh, so let's try that so to put it back obviously it's pretty straightforward just like this and like that and I will put the top screw first These are plastic, just remember, so uh, the screws are 
stronger than the plastic, so just don't tighten them too much. One here. Pretty much all done as far as replacing and securing the battery it's all sturdy there so consider this a nice replacement it was uh, about $45 from Amazon. Like I said, I will put the link below um, and uh, do your research to see if this is exactly what you're looking for or you could get a different battery that fits your need better. But I opted out for the 4500 milliampere here to give us a little bit longer time for vacuuming because it has more capacity. Yeah. Um, if there's anything unusual about this, I will uh, report back. But as far as the process of replacing, it seems straightforward. It's exact fit, works well, and uh, the price seems reasonable for uh, bringing back this vacuum to the original state as far as uh, time uh, allowing us to vacuum uh, for a longer period of time. One more thing to show you really quickly is uh, the fitment of the charging port because that's critical to make sure uh, the vacuum is working properly after replacing the battery. So let's try it out. There we go. It looks like the connection has been made and the vacuum is charging as it's supposed to. So let's try it again. There we go. Perfect. Thank you again. Please, if you haven't done so, subscribe. And I appreciate you watching. Take care.